Naruto is guilty of poorly writing its romantic pairings, but its sequel, Boruto, is one of the most developed relationships in the franchise, Boruto and Sarada. I nominated you to be the leader for this to keep you from going off on your own and making trouble, like always. I had to make sure our trip would be fun. The two started as brickering acquaintances, only familiar with each other because all of their parents were friends. Even then, there was always an unspoken connection, as Boruto and Sarada respected each other. Hot, so I was taking a little swim. Got a problem with that? Of, of course, course not. not. Nice. They used to clash like their parents. Similar to the original Team 7, Boruto and Sarada frequently argued with each other. While Boruto was carefree and reckless, Sarada was stern and diligent. When Boruto would pull pranks or break rules, Sarada would characterize him as childish. The last yakisoba bun is mine! Normally, a gentleman would agree to defer to a lady. Yeah, well, maybe if you were a lady. What is that supposed to mean? What do you think, genius? Likewise, Boruto made it clear that he believed her to be stuck up. <laughs> it's not funny! <laughs> Shut up! I said it's not funny! Although Boruto and Sarada repeatedly clashed, they both still had some respect for each other. After they were put in Team 7, Boruto and Sarada worked together many times. Their differences complemented the other. They argued less and gained much more respect for each other. Just as with the original Team 7, Boruto and Sarada's antagonistic relationship decreased, and they both value each other as comrades. Sarada was always watching Boruto. Ever since Boruto and Sarada's first appearance in Naruto Chapter 700, Sarada paid a lot of attention to Boruto. Whenever he was goofing off, she would look at him from afar, similar to Hinata with Naruto. Sarada would regularly complain about Boruto, finding him to be obnoxious and stupid. However, Sarada did acknowledge how they were alike and was interested in him beyond his foolish antics. In Boruto, Sarada secretly watches Boruto train, interviewed by the idea of him training with her father. When Boruto seemingly fails Sasuke's condition, she sticks up for the young ninja. She notes how much harder Boruto is working and is ecstatic when it turns out that Sasuke does intend to train him. Boruto made Sarada reconsider friendship. When Boruto and Sarada's class was about to graduate, Boruto was upset because it seemed everyone was already drifting away from their friendships. He told Sarada that friendship is forever, but Sarada told him that he's the only one who thinks that. I think you might be the only one who believes that. <laughs> Upset Boruto formed a camping trip with all the students to keep their friendship alive. Sarada thought the plan was foolish. But then Sakura brought up how the latter managed to keep her friends from her young years. Nothing. It's just that I always used to say that kind of thing about Naruto. What? About Lord Hokage? To me, he's just plain old Naruto. Sarada went on the camping trip, bonding with everyone and Boruto. She and Boruto talked about friendship, and later, they and all their classmates worked together to catch a giant fish. Although they weren't sure whether friendship could last forever, it was clear to Sarada and Boruto that their friendship wouldn't end so soon. Delicious. <laughs> Even if I tried, I doubt I could ever forget this. They almost kissed. Boruto depicts a callback to the infamous Narusasu kiss from the original Naruto. While Boruto and Sarada are arguing, a classmate accidentally bumps Boruto towards Sarada. A kissing sound is heard, and their friend Cho Cho reacts in shock. However, it turns out that Sarada blocked Boruto's lips with her foot, much to his disgust. Although they didn't really kiss, fans were quite happy to see the show reference one of Naruto's funniest scenes. Of course, they are patiently waiting for the day Boruto and Sarada kiss for real. They didn't want to be on the same team. Due to different attitudes, Boruto and Sarada, especially Sarada, didn't want to be on the same team. They thought they would be incompatible and thus form a weak unit. They were given the option to hand the form to the Hokage, requesting to be put in different squads. However, it turned out to be a training exercise to force Boruto and Sarada to work together. To hand in the form, they had to cooperate and defeat a tuning. Boruto and Sarada initially clashed, unable to properly team up. They soon realized that they needed to acknowledge to other strength without haphazardly overthinking their teamwork. They completed their mission and formed the new Team 7. This was the beginning of Boruto and Sarada becoming teammates who rely on each other. Hey! When is someone gonna come back here and let me down? 
Boruto made Sarada awaken her second Tomoe. The Uchiha clan's Sharingan forms and powers up to the high emotion related to an Uchiha loved one. In episode 175, Team 7 goes up against Deepa, a highly skilled adversary. He gains the upper hand and nearly kills Boruto. Sarada barely saves Boruto, thinking he was most likely going to die. Immediately afterwards, it's revealed that her Sharingan got a second Tomoe. Historically, the Sharingan power is up to due to trauma and loss. Itachi and Sasuke both got their Sharingan due to losing people's close to them. In Sarada's case, the stress and pain of losing Boruto, even potentially, was enough to form a second Tomoe. Whether as a friend or romantic interest, he means a lot to her. Well, anyway, it looks like Team 7 is back together once again. That's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Boruto always believed Sarada would be Hokage. Although Boruto wouldn't admit it, he saw a lot of potential in Sarada, respecting her capabilities. Tell you what, when you become Hokage, I'll be your right hand man, okay? I'll make sure to guard you real well. Uh, uh. When Sarada revealed that she wanted to be Hokage, Boruto found the idea funny. She previously didn't want to be a ninja, and Boruto thought the Hokage was a useless position. Much to Sarada's delight, Boruto accidentally revealed that he thought she would become Hokage one day. While he was embarrassed, Sarada couldn't help but feel happy. Later in Boruto, Boruto decides that not only will he support Sarada, but he'd become her right-hand man when she becomes Hokage. She wouldn't admit it, but she was even happier to hear that, embarrassingly blushing red thinking that your eyes are much bluer than Lord Seven's are. Hmm? Mitsuki! Fans ship Borusara. A majority of Boruto fans want Boruto and Sarada to become romantically involved. While Naruto is criticized for insufficient attention to romance, Boruto is praised for its handling of Boruto and Sarada's relationship. Fans adore how they start off disliking each other, but steadily grow more attached. Fans hope to see Boruto and Sarada get together after the time skip and are eager to see how their bond will continue to grow. There is a lot of fan art of Sarada's Hokage and Boruto's her right-hand man, representing the fans' ideal image of their relationship. Mitsuki also ships them. Fans are not the only ones who ship the couple. In Boruto and Sarada, their friend Mitsuki wants to see the two get together. When Boruto and Sarada have argued, Mitsuki would note how they were acting like a couple. Funnily enough, Boruto and Sarada seem to consider it for a moment before blushing red and denying that they were. Later, Sarada tried to stop Boruto from defacing the Hokage stone face. Despite their intense arguing and threats, Mitsuki still thought that they would make a good couple. In chapter 69 of the manga, Mitsuki asks Sarada if she does like Boruto after all. As usual, she denies having romantic feelings. However, Mitsuki believes there is more to her feelings than she's willing to admit. There will probably be a love triangle. Sarada continuously denies liking Boruto in a non-platonic way. However, there is someone else who is interested in him romantically, so Sarada may be pushed to recognize whether she only thinks of him as a friend. In the manga, Sumire asked Sarada if Boruto was popular with girls. Sarada looked uncomfortable with that possibility, instead noting how he just seems popular with everyone. Sumire then asked Sarada if she liked Boruto, which she denied as usual. Much to Sarada's shock, Sumire confirmed that she herself liked Boruto. Sarada was shocked and nervously left with Boruto afterward. Fans suspect that there will be a love triangle, possibly after a time skip. Oh